In this example, we have to integrate x times the sine of x squared solution. So we'll start by making a u substitution. We're going to let u be the inside function. So in this case, our inside function is going to be this piece here. So we'll let u be equal to x squared. Now we're going to take the derivative of both sides of this equation and we're going to use what's called differential notation. So the derivative of u is one, so we just write du. And then here, it'll be two x, right? Power rule from calculus, you bring down the two, subtract one from the exponent, and then dx. All right, so the goal here is to make whatever we have here look like what's in our integral up here. So down here, um, we have two x dx. Up here, we have x dx. So there's no two. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this two down here to make it match what's up here. Because this is being multiplied by two, all we have to do is divide by two, divide by two. So this is going to be du over two, which is really one half du. And that's equal to x dx. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and do our substitution. I'm gonna switch colors here. So our sine of x squared, that's going to be sine of u, right? Because we know u is equal to x squared. So just basically putting a u there where the x squared is. So we're left with a couple things here, right? We're left with this x and this dx. But that's here, and we established that that's one half du. I'm gonna go ahead and put the du here, and then bring the one half outside like this. And so now we're ready to integrate. We're trying to integrate sine. So if you have the answer memorized, that works. If you don't, you can always think backwards. Remember, we are integrating, or in other words, we are anti-differentiating. So to anti-differentiate, we think backwards. What's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is going to be negative cosine. So this is negative, the one half hangs out, cosine of u plus our constant of integration, capital C. And you can check this, right? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. There's already a negative here, so uh, two negatives make a positive. And we're not done, <laughs> we're not done. We gotta go back to the original variable. So this is negative one half cosine of, and then u is equal to x squared. So this is cosine of x squared plus our constant of integration, capital C. Really nice, yeah.